so guys now i have the front panel drafted already you can see what i have this is the starting point this is the elastic allowance this is the crotch depth the knee length the trouser length and the hem allowance okay this is the inseam of the trousers and this is the out seam So I will start cutting from the hem allowance line. If you notice, I did not extend my lines on the hem allowance line. Okay, then I will be folding on the trouser length line. So with this, when I'm constructing the trousers, I will not have a shortage. I will fold the hem allowance inward, like so. So now I will start cutting like so. I have my M allowance folded inward. You can see the shape I have for the M allowance is not going on a straight line. Okay, you can see I have like extra value here. So this will help in aiming the lower part without any shortage. Can you see what I have? So now I will continue cutting all through to the waistline. On the starting point as well, I will be folding in the elastic allowance I have at the upper part. So I'm folding on the starting point line. So you can see what I have. Then I will be cutting on the crotch line. I will come to this side as well and cut. And I will bring out my pattern. Can you see what I have here? You can see it is not coming upward on a straight line. Like this side as well. So with this I can continue with the cutting of the whole pattern. So guys, now it's time to draft the back panel. And I have my front panel placed on the fresh pattern paper. Okay, so the first step is to extend all the vertical lines I have on my new pattern paper. The starting point line I have here, I will extend it outward, the crotch depth line, the knee length, the trouser length, and the hem allowance. So guys, now I have my lines transferred on the new pattern paper, okay? So we have two things to do on the back panel. Firstly, I will be working on the waist area and I will be adding seam allowances on the back panel. If you notice when I was drafting the front panel, I did not add any seam allowance. All seam allowances will be added on the back panel. Firstly, I will come to the crotch area and I will take this up by half of an inch. This half of an inch is different from seam allowance, okay? When I was inserting this measurement, which is 3.5 inches for housing the elastic rope, I measured 3.5 inches on the front panel. Okay, so that is together with seam allowance. So initially, the measurement I needed for the housing of elastic rope is 3 inches. And this will be on the back panel automatically. Okay, so now I will take this hook by half of an inch on the crotch area that is the inseam side of the pattern this is the edges of the front panel and from here to this edge which is a fresh pattern paper is half of an inch then i will be connecting this straight to the side so if you are drafting this for adults you will make use of one inch okay so if you want to learn how to draft a native trouser measurement for adults i have a web detailed tutorial on that as well kindly check the description area below for the link to the tutorial
so you can see what i have then i will extend my crotch line to meet the half of an inch point so that is the first assignment we have to do on the back panel and the second assignment is to add seam allowances on the back panel this can be done in two ways okay you can add all the seam allowances on the inseam side of the trousers and you can spread the seam allowances on both sides the inseam side and the outseam side okay in constructing a native trousers for a male child two inches of seam allowance is needed okay so on each line i have here on each point i will be adding extra two inches so on the waistline here i will measure two inches so here as well i will measure two inches then i will connect these two points together with a straight line now i will come to the waist area as you can see i have a slant line that i drew for the back panel so i will extend this line forward towards the inseam of the trousers as you can see i joined to my paper in order to have enough space so i'll make sure i have a continuous slant line okay then from the waist point i will measure two inches forward so the two inches is for same allowance for both back and front panels and i will extend this line upwards now i will come to the crotch area for the back crotch it's going to be half of an inch wider than the front crotch this is because the pattern is for kids if it is for adults it will not be half of an inch okay i will extend the line outward properly you can see what i have there so i will insert my seam allowance of two inches first then i will add extra half of an inch to it so instead of 2 inches, I will have 2.5 inches on the crotch line only. Then I will cross this out. So which means from this point to this point is 2.5 inches. Then on the knee length, I will add 2 inches as well. then i will come to the trouser length and add two inches so here two inches on the m line two inches okay so now the next step is to connect all these points together and i will start from the m line from the M line to the trouser length, I will be connecting the two points together with my straight roller. You can see what I have. This is because the measurement I have on the trouser length is different from the one I have on the M line. Then I will be connecting from the trouser length point to the knee point, making use of the same straight roller. Then from the crotch line to the knee length, I will be connecting with my pant curve. And hope you do not forget the positioning I told you when I was drafting the front panel. The curve must not be too much. Okay, so now I have this done. Then I'll come to the crotch area. As you can see, because I've added half of an inch to the measurements i have on the crotch line this will no more be on a straight line you can see what i have here so it's not going to be on a straight line anymore 
so i will extend the line i have on the starting point line outward okay so i'm not tampering with what i have from the starting point upward okay so i will only be working from the starting point to the crotch point now don't forget i told you i added half of an inch to the back crotch so i will mark the half of an inch outward from the crotch point to this half of an inch point you can see what i have then i will be connecting from this half of an inch point to the starting point i have my two inches marked on the starting point already and if you cannot do this you can as well take your two inches like so so you will still have the same result so now i will connect from the half of an inch point to this point from the starting point to the crotch line point so this is the back crotch line so now in order to construct the crotch curve i will be taking this hop like so from this point upward and if you know you can find this difficult to construct you can take notes of the crotch point you have on the front panel then extend the point outward so that is where the curve and the straight line meet like so then with this you'll be able to position your curve ruler can you see what i have now you can see what i have for the back crotch you can see the shape is a little bit different from the front crotch and the wideness of the back crotch is half of an inch more than the front crotch this has to be like this because the pattern is for kids it's for a kid but if you are drafting this pattern for an adult the back crotch is usually deeper than the front crotch and the back crotch is also wider than the front crotch okay also the crotch line you will be having for the back pattern is not going to be on a perfect straight line like that of a kid so i have this pattern like so purposely because this pattern is for a male child if you want to learn how to draft a male native trouser for adults kindly check the description area below for the link to the tutorial so far so good the front and the back panels are ready the last step is to trace out the shape i have by the side that is the housing side of the trousers i will shape i will trace this out from the waistline downward to the m line after which i will transfer my lines i will label the back panel and i will cut it out so guys now i have the back panel cut out and this is what i have for the back panel so this is the back panel and this is the front panel the back panel is half of an inch longer on the crotch area than the front panel so you can see what i have and i have all my seam allowances added on the crotch side of the back panel and as i said earlier you can distribute your seam allowances on both sides of the back panel so i had it two inches you can add one inch on the outseam side and one inch on the inseam side and at the same time you can decide to add the two inches on the inseam side only thank you so much guys for watching this video to the end make sure you try yours and share your experience with me and in case you have any challenges feel free to reach out to me as i will be so glad to attend to all of your questions don't forget to subscribe like share and leave a comment at the comment section thank you once again and i will see you around but till then always do remember there is no elevator to success you have to take the stairs